Jameson, you have to nap longer than 20 minutes. This kid does not want to nap. He did not sleep last night. He had us up till like 2.30. And then he slept for two and a half hours and got up. And then he slept till 7.30, almost 8. And now he won't nap. Can you tell by my hair? <laughs> <laughs> it's 12.30. I just got Jameson down for a nap. It took 45 minutes and well, I'm not proud of this. He did fuss himself to sleep. I'm not gonna say he cried himself to sleep because he wasn't really crying, like there were no tears. He was just mad that he was in the crib. But um, like we were trying to rock him. My mom rocked him and I rocked him and he just kept fighting us. So I was like, you know what? I'm not doing this. So I put him in the crib and he fussed for about 10 more minutes. He's quiet now. But I'm exhausted. Robert's exhausted. We had a really long night and then Robert had to get up super early and go to work and I had to get up super early with the baby and now I won't nap. But I'm going to enjoy the next 10 to 20 minutes I have of him taking a nap. Ugh. Almost. Look at you. Look at you! <laughs> you did it! Jameson, I'm so proud of you! <laughs> oh, are you crying or are you laughing? You're laughing! <laughs> You're so proud of yourself! Oh, drool! There you go! You did it! Good job! Jameson's nap didn't in fact last 20 minutes and it's time for him to go down for another one but I'm scared. <laughs> so I brought him in the nursery and he's playing with a bunch of stuff that's not toys and it's okay you can get back up. You fall down you get back up. There you go. Good job. Good job. But here we have this bin of clothes that he hasn't grown into yet <laughs> and he's standing up on it it's awesome he's growing up so fast guys all except for his sleeping habits that is but I just needed a place to like sit put him that I could like sit down for just a minute because <laughs> I'm sorry after last night, Robert and I are exhausted, and then with him not taking a nap today, I'm just so tired. Plus my back is killing me, I think I might be getting a bladder infection. But, um, I am waiting on a phone call. Are you getting frustrated? Don't get frustrated. We get back up. For however long. But I let him play until he he like crawled over to me and like tried to climb up my leg, so I just picked him up and I held him and he went straight to sleep. So we'll see. Somebody woke up after an almost two hour nap. It was amazing. I missed out, you know, this is just after I got home from work. I'm pretty much a rock star. But now we've eaten dinner and he is going to be fine. No, he had squash, not, pasta, not, broccoli, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of cheese, and then three chocolate chips for dessert. Excuse me. And he got to taste a little bit of ranch dressing, which was a bad idea because he really liked it. <laughs> so we're going to avoid that one for a little while. You ready, buddy? He said, no, I'm still eating that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there we go. The puppies are going to love you today. All right, guys, not going to lie to you. This is my parenting ability today. 
I'm just sitting on the floor, letting him entertain himself. I do have to move every now and then, but I'm just so tired from last night, and I know Sarah's beat. Uh, what are you doing? Is that my knee? Whoa, what is that? Why are your hands so cold? Why are your hands so cold? Cold hands, warm heart, Daddy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? You okay over there, love? I legitimately think this is the most exhausted I've been since he was born. Howard and I are exhausted. We just ran through the house with Jameson, trying to get him tired. Riled up. Well, yeah, riled up, but like riled down at the same time. So we're both out of breath and kind of like ready to go die, but. No, I, not die, just rest for a little while. Yeah. In peace though. Not rest in peace, that's worse. I meant like peacefully rest for just a little eating? while. What are you eating? You just ate like seven pieces of chicken. No, I didn't. Well, it felt like you did. You just put three pieces Ooh, of chicken. Oh, I can make these. Can. Guys. Can you? <laughs> can I make these? <laughs> Jameson's like, Mom, Mom, I got it. Do you need me to supervise <laughs> or just do it? I have to make a certain recipe because I have to use the apples. I almost dropped them. These things are not my forte. But I wanted to tell you guys that Robert and I are going to actually do it again. Mm -mm. Show them your icing. No. Oh. <laughs> we decided that we're maybe going to try to stay in our, like, town to have Finnegan. Um, I'm a cinnamon bun unicorn. <laughs> What's that commercial? It's from the office. The my horn can pierce the sky. Yeah, that one. Okay, but um, I'm not gonna be able to get the kind of midwife I want because not the kind of the, the kind of midwife I want doesn't take insurance <laughs> around here. Bye, 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 so bye, bye, I'm gonna just try to get in. I called another midwife today, and they're looking over my records. And if I get oh, in with no, them, no, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. If I get in with them, then I'll just deliver locally. But right now, I think that's the decision we've made because this hospital locally has something called a C-section suite, where we never have to be separated. Nope. And nor does our child. Uh, it's you know features we didn't know existed when we had Jameson. But the thing is, is it's still, it's not, wasn't our, you know, the first way we wanted to do it. It wasn't our plan A. Yeah. But out of plan C, D, E, F, G, you know, this one, this one is the, the best of what's left. Yeah. Because, Especially, you know, we are aware that there is always a chance of having a C-section. And, okay, okay, come here, come here. If I have to have one, I want it done my way. If that makes sense. Come here. Okay. Yes. You can watch. See? So I gotta take that microwave out to hit the road. Oh, that's because you hit it before you peeled the paper. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> it was the microwave oh burning. My god. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm helping Sarah make this uh, apple cinnamon roll dish and I hear a crash and now a cry. And I uh, figured I'd show you what happened. Here's Jameis and he cannot tow his L motor anymore because he's stuck. Because he hit a, well he stopped dragging it with him but it was a decorative little Christmas tree that we had not put in storage properly. But he drug that from all the way over there. 
and got stuck. Then he got stuck, and then he got mad. Mm. You like getting your teeth brushed, buddy? My favorite part of bath time. Is he brushing his own teeth? Mm -hmm. Look at this guy. Maybe we won't have problems teaching you to brush your teeth every night. It's done. Well, almost done. I have to put the icing on it. But it looks delicious. I only burnt like one or two pieces. I did not burn them. I just, it, a couple pieces got crispy. You burn them every time you make cinnamon You don't even cook. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Ooh, it's mm -hmm. hot. Come on. You gotta hurry. There we go. Is it good? Is it delicious? Excellent. You need some whipped cream on there. Alright, guys. I have no idea what this tastes like. I actually saw Missy on Daily Bumps do it, and I so I Pinterested the, the recipe and I'm gonna try it. That's delicious. Okay, guys, it is that time of day where we end our vlog and do subscriber, subscriber shout out. Today, we're actually gonna do two of them. I know we do that a lot more than we, we, we you know, we, we do that a lot, don't we? Sometimes it's hard to choose just I, one. I know, we love our subscribers. Sometimes it's hard to choose just two. <laughs> but today, we're gonna start with Hannah's Pets. And she says, have you ever gotten rude comments about vlogging in public? Do you get rude or just any types of stares while vlogging in public? And where is somewhere you are excited to take Jameson and Finnegan when they are older? Or somewhere you want, or somewhere you just want to take them? Do you have an answer? We, I'm not going to say we've ever gotten a rude stare. We've gotten or, some funny looks. Yeah, and we've never gotten any rude comments, but we do get like some funny looks like, what are they doing? It's like, who's going to film their kid in Dollar General? It's really weird. That's um, but I do, every time, like, one of us goes and we're vlogging, like, in public, I always have to watch the footage back on the camera immediately to see if we got any funny looks. Because yeah, because sometimes, hysterical. I mean, when you're looking at the lens, like, if you're holding the camera and you're, you're trying to look at the lens or look at, you know, even the, the, uh, the viewfinder, it's, it's, it's hard to notice when people give you funny looks. So um, when you go back and watch the footage back, you catch a lot of funny looks. Yeah. One place I am looking forward to taking Jameson and Finnegan, and I don't want to go too big because you know we don't we are we do live on a budget, and the chances of us getting an expensive vacation are, are sort of slim. But um, when I was little, we used to go to to a KOA camp, campground up in a, a city around us, and I loved it. There was one summer when we went like four or five times and they have a big lake and you get these you rent these cabins and you have a fire pit and there's a pool and putt putt and it's just you know it's just a good little place for a, a simple vacation yeah I mean even yeah, I, if it's just a weekend away you know, it's nice growing up with my family we, we would go camping a lot my you know we started out with tents and then my parents worked up to a small little camper and you know, we'd go to campgrounds that are very similar. You know, you'd get a little spot, you know, where you'd hook up for water and electricity and they'd have a pool and putt-putt and, you know, a lot of times we'd, you know, go to campgrounds like near the beach. So we'd walk up to a beach or, you know, if it was, you know, somewhere within the country, like, you know, one time in Kansas, they, they had like a little arcade room and little gift shops and it was always fun to go. They always had little amenities that just made it like homey, but also vacation-y yeah and our second su subscriber shout out today goes to uh, Aubrey Duncan mm -hmm. she says I love watching your vlogs it makes me so happy to see that when times get tough being a family is all that matters thank you for your daily vlogs and God bless your family I hope that this n new doctor will help that was just awesome it was kind of cool that somebody like recognized that dynamic like I don't know what you like, we don't know what you guys see when when you watch our vlogs i mean we perceive it the way it is in our heads when it happens and even watching it back we're replaying the way it was in our head when it happens so getting outside perspectives on what we do and like seeing how they match up with how we see them is always gratifying and always reassuring that you know one we're you know sane 
and two that you know things are things are going the way not only that we want them to and the way we perceive them but that in an agreeable fashion that you know that you know things are good at you know people telling us how nice it is to watch us you know reminds us that you know things are nice even in the hardest of times like you know with Sarah's doctor and you know stuff like that so thank you but that's gonna be all for tonight if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment below subscribe, subscribe if you have not already check and us out on social media oh yeah bye we'll see you tomorrow love you guys bye bye